Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today, as promised, we've got the first look at that new Bauer Recip saw. I can't believe it's finally here. We finally got it. I know it's been teased a lot. It's not in store shelves just yet, but I did talk to some stores and they said it might be in the back room. So anyway, it should be on stores shortly. That said, you know, let's jump into it, take a look at it. In fact, I also broke out the Hercules so we can contrast and compare the two so you can get an idea about the differences between the two brands there over at Yule Harbor Freights. Let's get a look at that. Okay, quick experiment today, at least with a video format. Yesterday's video with the multi-tool, we did a text overlay where I just let the video run, didn't talk, and just let you experience it kind of firsthand. Today, we're going to do it with a voiceover, give you more narration as we go through this so you can see what's going on and we can talk about it. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you like this style? Do you like just the text overlay? I mean, you know, not yapping my mouth. Or do you like the style that a lot of the other YouTubers use where they, they put some cool, new, jazzy kind of music over it? Anyway, let me know. Now we're going to go at it with the Hercules. Same blade, same galvanized pipe. Okay, well, it did jump out of the track there on me, but it, if you count just the actual cut time, it was almost exactly the same time, right around 11 seconds. Okay, we're back with the Bauer. Again, it's the same blade. This time we're going at some flat bar stock, standard steel, 3 16 And again with the Hercules now, again it's the same blade, same style. Now for a real challenge, we're going to go after that wrench that we did with the multi-tool. Again, this really isn't the blade for cutting this kind of hardened metal. Well, as I said, not really designed for it, but it handled it just the same. So now let's put through a real challenge. Let's see how it can handle this. Well, there you have it. What'd you think about the performance? Did it live up to what you thought, what you were expecting? I gotta say, to, to be entirely honest, uh, I know the Hurt guys are gonna hate me for it, but I, in the paw, this felt like a better tool to me. Not better quality per se. It's definitely lighter construction. Um, it's definitely a prosumer grade kind of tool. But as far as the ergonomics, something about that handle, for those of us with bigger mitts, I found it was much easier for me to grasp that, especially in a lower position, like when I'm like cutting down near your waist, which to be honest, a lot of times you're going to be doing that so you can bear down, you know, on the, on the front blade there. And uh, it, for some reason, the ergonomics on this handle, 
you know, just worked better for me. Maybe, you know what? It may be different for you, but that's just the bear's opinion of it. But I you know a lot of you are going to sit there and say, hey, this thing looks just like the Hercules. And while they're definitely cousins, they're certainly not twins. Now, we, I put both of them up here. We take a quick look comparison at them. Uh, besides, you know, the, the Bercules blue, which you got to love that color, right? Uh, the, they're, they, are, they do share a lot of similarities. Now, of course, they're going to have roughly the same form factor as most recip saws kind of do. Uh, but the Herc's got more texturing on the front end. Uh, it, it's got a, uh, I don't know, something about the handle on it is the nub there. Uh, on a on a on you know a firearm, I'd, I'd probably call it a, a, a beaver tail, but uh, don't want to offend any, any of the beavers out there. But it, something about the the bower is more forgiving in allowing you have a more flexible uh, grip on it. Now the funny thing is the safety stop, that's the the lock there in the top, that seems to be exactly the same. The trigger is, if not exactly the same, darn darn close. The battery position is, that's going to be about the same on anything because, again, that's a form factor kind of thing. But if you look at it, now I'm just hypothesizing here, but what it looks to me, at least what it screams to me, is that they they took the Hercules and they basically, you know, brought it down to the prosumer level. Uh, so I'm guessing that the internals share a lot of the design. Now, I haven't taken these apart to get into them, but uh, I've, I've heard they're pretty tricky and I'm not sure that's something I'm willing to get into just yet. But, you know, if you look at the bolt placement, if you look at the, the air intake placement, uh, the, the, uh, the, all, the cooling fans, everything, and, and, the, and if also the controls on the front and the back. Let's take a look from the side here. Look at the back side. Now, clearly the Bauer doesn't have the rafter hook like you have on the Herc, but you've got the same design for the front foot. The, the release pin is under the front there. The, that's, that's for the foot, the, the shoe, I'm sorry. And uh, the, uh, the release for the blaze, the quick release on the side, so that's in the same spot. Uh, the, the Bauer is noticeably missing the work light that you do have on the Hercules. Not that I find that's ever a big issue for me with recip saws. Now with drills where I'm putting a, a screw in a small area where it's hard to see sometimes, yeah, but I've rarely been in a situation with a, uh, a, a, a recip saw where I'm like, oh, if I just had light right there, I could see better. Maybe that's just me, you know. But anyway, as I said, they're definitely kissing cousins here, uh, if not uh, siblings. So overall, I have to say, I was real impressed with, with the uh, the Bauer. It, everything, you know, I gotta hate <laughs> I'm a huge fan of, of the Hercules stuff, and I love all the tools. But man, every time I pick up one of these Bauer tools, I'm like, this this thing's pretty good. You know, and for the average homeowner or DIY prosumer level, it, it's hard not to to see that this is, this is fast becoming. In fact, you know what? Let's step back. Let's be honest about it. At this point, with the inclusion of the Recip saw, I think we all have to pretty much stand back and say, Bauer is now officially a, a contender power line. It's a full line. They've got all the core elements that you need if you're buying into a, a cordless tool line. You've, you've got your drill drivers, you've got your impacts, you've got a hammer drill, you've got impact wrenches, uh, you've got uh, a circ saw, you've got uh, a, a grinder, you've got... Uh, a jigsaw, you've got the, uh, and now you get the recip saw. And then, of course, you have all the other accessories and stuff to go along with it. At, at this point, they're a full fledged tool line. And, you know, and they're definitely solidly in that prosumer kind of grade. They're not going up against Milwaukee. They're not going up against DeWalt or Makita. They're going up against Porter Cable. They're going up ag against uh, Ryobi. And, and even touching, you know, on some of uh, the Ridges kind of space. You know, Ridges is one of those weird lines kind of split in two. They have an upper tier line that's going after the, the pros, and they have a lower tier line that's definitely aimed at the, the uh, prosumers. Anyway, as I said, I, I think at this point, you know, you got to really consider Bauer. Now, I, again, you know, first rule of shop at Harbor Freight is you wait for a coupon. And uh, and then you consider about whether you want to purchase that extended warranty. You know, if you're going to be somebody who uses a tool hard or something like that, why not get the extended warranty? The extended warranties on the Bowers are quite reasonable. And if you think about it, you know, being able to exchange that tool once a year, you get the two-year warranty, and you get a once-a-year, uh, you know, exchange plan. You walk in, you hand them the tool, they hand you a new one. I mean, who who else does that with a power tool? 
Now, sure, they're you know everyone and their brother is doing you know uh, you know quick exchange warranties on uh, on hand tools, but wow, and with a power tool, I, that's just you know that's something you really got to take into consideration. Anyway, let me, let the bear know what you all think. Uh, why don't you put a comment down below which one of these you thought you know which one you thought did the best or maybe did the best for you know what is expected or whatnot. Anyway, uh, stay tuned. Make sure you've liked and subscribed. Ring that bell. Remember. YouTube doesn't think you're serious if you don't ring the bell. And, you know, if you liked what you saw here, you know, chop the old like button down there. Just give it a little bite right there. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.